Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to bless you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure it forever. As I share your word, use me as a vessel, O King of Kings, to be a blessing to your people. And as you bless them, do not pass me by. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, O God. I pray for my viewers and my listeners that their hearts will be like good ground, that your word will go forth like good seed that will be watered by the Holy Spirit to bring forth the fruits of encouragement in their lives, Lord, and even motivation to serve you, Lord. I pray that I may decrease as you increase, O oh Lord. Take over and at the end of it all. All glory and honor will be to your name in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I am broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA, and this is a production of One Word Digital Media which is situated in Seattle, Washington. God is good all the time because when he gives men ideas and they do not waste it or mark time or procrastinate, it becomes a blessing like those people who invented technology. It's my prayer that you're not going to waste any idea, no matter how little or insignificant it may seem. Just take an action. Just do something. And you'll be surprised what God can do. The title of my message today will be, No Matter What, I Have Decided to Serve God. And I pray that at the end of this message, or as you listen, or as you read through it, that you can purpose to do the same, that you can say, I have decided, no matter what, to serve the Lord, to live for the Lord. I'm, my phases of reference will be from the book of Daniel, chapter 3. I would encourage you to read the entire uh, chapter, but I'm going to be reading from verse 16 to 18 from New King James Fashion in Jesus' name. And the Bible says, Wow, wow. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O oh king. But if not, let it be known to you, O oh king, that we do not serve your gods. Nor will we worship the God image which you have set. Mm. Let me just read verse 19. Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury and the expression on his face changed toward Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He spoke and commanded that they... They, that they hit the furnace seven times more than it was usually heated. God bless his word. I hope even before I start saying anything, those words, even if you had led them before, they come forth with another power or revelation. These are three young men. They have purpose to serve God. In actual fact, the subheading of that chapter is, or of that topic is, Daniel's friend disobey the king. We are living at a time that we are in the midst of many friends, many relatives, many next of kings, even in our own families, that people can decide to do what they want because of fear or because of selfish reasons. But you have to purpose like Daniel, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you are going to obey the Lord, irrespective of what could be happening. You know, verse 19, it says, and I can't separate this, this topic, these words. You have to read the entire chapter, but I picked up because of time. Verse 19, it says that Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury or anger and it could show on his face. You know, there are times somebody can look at you and you wonder, wow, did he put some pepper in the eyes because they are red? Just because you have said something, not that it is bad, but because to them they are full of that anger. 
my brother and my sister, that is not the time to be scared. We have to be courageous and know who we are and whom we have believed. I like the way this man replied because they were being taught to worship the idol. But they said, let it be known unto you, O king, this day, whether you are going to put it in that fiery furnace or not, whether God, our God is going to deliver us or not, let it be known unto you, O king, that we are not able to bow to your idol. We need that kind of aggressive faith, that kind of radical faith that a woman and a man and a young man and a young lady and that employee can say, let it be known unto you whether I'm going to have that check or not. I'm not going to compromise my faith. I'm not going to compromise my service for God in Jesus' name. We have to kick fear away. By the way, let me tell you. We may say fear not, God is in charge. And that's why God has given us his word as a reference. Because we fear. Every time you hear that God has said something is because he wants to encourage us. Men are told to love their wives because there is a tendency of men not to laugh. But women laugh automatically. That is why they will leave their own um, you know, families and even change their names. Because of their love. Not many men can decide, can purpose to change their, life, their names for the sake of their wives. That's why when you read Ephesians 5, it talks to men, love your wives. And for us women, it is not easy to submit. That's why the Bible tells us, be submissive. And I'm not getting out of the point. I'm trying to say that in the world we live in, there are challenges. And those challenges we have to purpose and be determined. It takes an effort and determination for you to do that. It took the courage for this man to say, even if our God does not deliver us, it has reached a time these last days you have to purpose there are so many things that are going on in the world you're not just gonna do it because other people are doing it Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego could have bowed to the idol because other people are doing it did they do it? No. Are you going to compromise because other people are, are compromising their faith for the sake of just a meal? Mm, may God help you on Saturday we had a meeting and we were blessed by this man of God and he shared the reason he sang a song poem, Why God Bless You. Why he sang a song called Muragiri. And I was so much encouraged. What, oh my goodness, what he went through. If it were the men of the time, the women of the time, the young men of the time, they would have given in. He was also tempted, but he realized he was deep inside him. He knew who he was. Inside him, the Lion of Judah reminded him who he was. My brother and my sister. Challenges will come. Sickness will come. But will that prevent us not to serve God? No. I've been... I've not been on air for the last three days. And many people might be asking, oh, I've not seen you for the last, you know, things can happen. And I want to tell you it is okay, even, even if I go for a week. But that does not mean that I have stopped. What am I saying? There are challenges that will come and somebody will wonder, are you still there, man and woman of God? There are discouraging words that will come. There are discouraging reports that will come. There are discouraging people that will come, but purpose to stand in your faith faith in god that's why i sing a song and said faith in jesus faith in jesus will satisfy you and what is faith faith is the evidence of the things not seen but hoped for these three men they knew they were to be put in that fiery furnace. By the way, the Nebuchadnezzar ordered that the furnace be heated seven times more than it was. Problems may come more than you expected, my brother, my sister, but that is not a time to say, well, due to an avoidable circumstance, oh, God will understand. Let God understand that you trust him when you are in that fire, the furnace of being despised or going through what you are going through, but you purpose to stand in the word of God. There are times I go through situations and I'll be sharing with people and I say, yes, I am a pastor. I trust God, but this is what is going on. But I know my God is still there. It is a time, my brother, my sister, we stand firm 
in our marriages. We stand firm in our faith. We stand firm as we serve the Lord. And we can be able to say or sing, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me. No turning back. No turning back. These men, even though they did not sing that song, this inside them, I can only imagine when they was when they said, Oh my good, oh king. Mm. But if not, let it be known to you, O oh king, that we do not serve your God. Mm. Nor will we worship the God I am image. You have set up. I have mad stories. And deep inside me, I don't want to say anything. And I say, this is what I did. Because some people will say, Gayata ida gyara meta ida you know. That by the way, that is not in the word of God. For those who can understand that God help those who help themselves. No, you have to be helpless so that God can help you, my brother, my sister. How I pray that you can decide to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Purpose, be focused to serve God, to reef for God, no matter what. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, give us that radical trust in you, radical faith, a radical joy in the midst of chaos. And at the end of it all, whatever we go through will be a testimony, like the, te the testimony of these three men. Oh, made everything to change in this, their surroundings. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You are there. You have never trusted the Lord. It's a high time that you tell the Lord to take over. Do you want to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus? I come before you. I have purpose to trust you. Write my name in the book of life and help give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. I would encourage you to look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel without compromise for your spiritual growth because this is our spiritual guide. It's our spiritual manual that you can refer when you are discouraged, when you are ordinary, when you are despised. You need it just like you need a manual when you're operating an equipment. You need this word. When you go to that church, be comfortable that it's going to be your home church where you can be taught, you can be corrected, you can be fed to feed others. We are not just fed to stay there. I love my church. May also our local churches be the place we can feed other people, other, the frogs of the Lord, and let them spread their wings because there is more to be done out there. I always like having this. The world. There is a lot to be done. We see, you cannot be here and be here at the same time. If it's a pastor, oh, pastor people and encourage them to spread their wings so that they can go to this other part of the world because world vision is the vision of God. God bless you. And until next time, you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different servants of God from all over by dialing 605-7813266. You can also search One One Miracle Radio. That way, using your smartphone, download the app One One Digital Media. You'll be blessed 24-7. When you are blessed, be a blessing to other people by sharing. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. And also, the book, I'm going to continue reminding you. Fear Not God is in charge. It is uh, available online. You can go uh, to Amazon, eBay, or West brokeplace.com or if you forget you can just go and type fear not god is in charge by pastor florence may the lord bless you this is your home for spiritual guidance your voice of hope